in the last mountain top finish, he said the last two mountain top finishes, he seemed to be toying a bit. Yeah, and it's been Danielson who's been taking the fight forwards a bit on those last few mountains. Here is in Peter Velitz. He has just two seconds to hold over Tom Danielson to maintain his sixth place on the general classification. Danielson has got ahead of him, remember, and now Velitz goes off the start ramp. Uh, the other one, the other gap we haven't uh, discussed at the moment because I really wanted to talk about Danielson and Velitz when they were coming up, is the gap between Velitz and Nicholas Roche. It's 128, that gap. I think that's too much for this man to bridge. Um, no, yes, normally yes, but again, you know, Velitz, uh, uh, I think uh, time trialling is, uh, is his stronger point. I would say that he's, you know, really good at this and he's just, uh, you know, matured as well. And, uh, you know, in the climbs and the big long tours, he's like Roach, he's improving and uh, I think there's a lot more improvement left in him. Danielson uh, fighting hard to maintain his position and uh, overhaul Peter Velitzip. 52. Oh, Velitz has done a fabulous job. That's a great time trial by Velitz, and he's taken the fastest time. That is extraordinary. Well, not an indication. What a finish by Peter Velitz. He's just knocked Dennis Menchov off the top. And we were saying, Sean, in the last couple of days that perhaps he'd have been suffering. He was, was suffering a little bit, but Velitz has just turned in the fastest time. It kept, he came over the line so quickly. Uh, after Tom Danielson. We were still noting down the time of Tom Danielson. Yes, uh, that's amazing time. 52.40 roughly I make it, and what would he have? 52.55 for Menchov. <laughs> so it's just, it's, uh, you know, again, at time trialing, I said to myself that he could put in a real good performance, but I never expected, as I said earlier, you know, it looked like that Menchov cancel out. They are the ones who are going to be the top of the, the classement uh, for the stage victory today, but, uh, you know, that's going to really put the pressure on a lot of riders because, you know, Velitz is going to, uh, in the general classement, that's going to shake uh, shake up a lot of the places. That's, that's incredible. That is an incredible time. It's um, uh, We have speculated, Sean, that at the back end of this last 15 kilometres, maybe even the last five or six kilometres uh, or ten, that the course is getting faster. Maybe the wind is getting up a little bit. I would suggest to you now that that is definitely the case. People are getting quicker towards the end. But Velitz to turn in 52.40, that really is an absolutely incredible time. And I had no, no knowledge that that was going to happen at all. No, and uh, it could be the situation, but, you know, the wind is blowing up a bit and maybe it's uh, more favourable for the last